There we go. Large mouth. All right. That ain't the fish I even seen. He's small and really pale. One fish day, guys. Goodness. Things just did not work out in my favor. The spillway rose three feet. And another place was completely closed due to crop dusters. They didn't want people being around the spray. Oh, jeez. All right, well, I got something, I guess. Goodness gracious, man. Guys, I'm on my first fish. It's a largemouth in that tunnel again, just like the last time I came here. Man, that's weird. I always get one out of that tunnel, it seems like. I got him on a red and orange six cents crawfish imitation crankbait in the tunnel. Thank you, Thai Pig Patrol, for teaching us that. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> just like last time, it looks like the same fish. Nice little large mouth. Oh yeah. Not bad at all. Two pounder. Two and a half. <sighs> and don't even need pliers. Heck yeah. I don't think. He hit it the first time I threw it in there. I felt him hit it. I thought it was just a gar, though. All right, guys. Red and orange. Six cents. About a two, two and a half pound largemouth. Not bad at all. Some nice bass in this place, isn't there? There ain't a ton of them, but they're, every one's nice that I've caught. <clears throat> Not bad, guys. Nice little large mouth. Oh yeah. I'll get her back in. Heck yeah. Nice bass. It's about two and a half. Yeah. All right, you go back in, little buddy. I don't even know what kind of water turtle this is. It's not a soft cell and it's not a snapper and it's not a red-eared slider but i caught him he's going back in freely got the hook out he'll be all right so good deal caught a baby flathead i thought for sure it was a mad time but it's not it's got the flathead tail it's the smallest flathead i've ever seen my god who does a baby? That's a baby flathead. Huh. That means there's got to be big ones in here. Probably. That's cool. Right at the dam? No. no. Alright guys. She, yeah, it's a flathead. Sure is. Little bitty six incher. That is really cool. I wish I had an aquarium. He would go in there for sure. Littlest flathead I've ever seen. I got a weird double going on here. We got doubles here. Tyler's got doubles. He's got a moon eye on one rod. No, no, no stick. stick. But he's got a big old black buffalo on this other rod. How much pound test did you have? Oh, you had a liter. It's four pound test. Oh, you had to really wear him out then. Yeah, he started out like right Man. behind the slabs. I got him up out here, and he was just, it was like dragging in a flat rock for a minute. <laughs> I started pulling, I was, what the hell, this has got to be a turtle. Oh my goodness. 
I didn't realize there's many of them in here. I'll see one or two when I'm canoeing, but I don't see them in, in here, nothing like St. Francis. Yeah, there, actually there's higher numbers of black buffalo here than there all are even smallmouth. Because they like that mouth. swift water. They love the swift water and all the gravel. That is a nice one, guys. I'll zoom in here too. Luckily, I had a good battery in here because I just grabbed it and didn't really know right until until I was halfway here. I thought he was wore out, but it's kind of yeah, they'll surprise you. Now. Is there blue suckers in here too? Yeah, there are blue suckers. Huh? Yeah. You see a lot more. Uh, there's a lot of golden red horse, black red horse, peelip red horse. Yeah. I'm surprised the people gigging haven't decimated them all. Ah, they come out here in the winter. And it's hard as hell to get them. It's, gigging's not as easy as everybody thinks. No, uh-uh. That is a big one, though. I'm definitely going to come down here. I got about 100 red wigglers at home just sitting in the fridge. Dude, I, need... I went to Current River Bait and Tackle twice now, and they've been out of work. It's hard. It's hard to find them. I have to go to Dexter Walmart half the time. Thing, I'm gonna go to and they're big Walmart reds. Like yeah, I like the big reds. Because you get 30 of them and the, it takes, you can fill the whole hook with just one. Yep. Can you walk out to that? Uh, Yeah, upstream from there you can when the river is a regular level. It's up about a foot right now. Yeah, I figured that rain did something. Yeah. It's still clear. Boy, that is a big one. That is a nice fish, dude. Man. Yeah, I'll Ada, get, Ada, Emerald Shiner. I'll be able to, yeah, he. this is a black buffalo, guys, and he caught him on a Shiner, Emerald Shiner. I'll be able to send you pictures later tonight nice. after I eat dinner. That's a hoss. Nice fish. Well, <sighs> he's nice. easily. I'd say he's probably ten to twelve. Yeah. My eyes got. Let's get your face paper. in there too. Yep. Do right. what you just did, and then and then lift yep. your neck up. Yep. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Be able to put that in rough fish. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take some. <laughs> I took a couple videos of fighting him too. So. I've learned I can finally tell the difference between the black and small mouth. Well, they've got this great big almost horse looking snout and those papillate lips. Yeah, and it, they got bumps right here. The, you can feel the, yep. but their, their uh, snout too. And the keel on a small mouth buffalo is really sharp, you know, almost yeah. angular. And this guy, I don't know, this is one that someone... It's hard at the first couple years to really... Some people say, oh, that's a hybrid or something, you know. You know, know. I've read that there is. Boy, you yeah. did wear him out, didn't you? Yeah, he's, he's is he already out. off the hook? No, not yet. Oh, uh, okay. Not yet. Well, that'd be good eating. Yeah, I'm going to release it. Yeah. Let's, let's take some. That's pretty nice, though. It is. I don't know if I've maybe caught one that big. That was at Spillway. Mm -hmm. That was perfect until that dang. Caught they one rose bigger it. At a block hole. It was 16 pounds, four ounces. Goodness. Here we go. Uh, okay. Let me unzoom this one here. Oh, it already was. Okay. Yeah, kind of get down to the same level as me and get some good. It's already recording or no? No, uh, it's no, not. It's not. I don't oh, okay. want to record. I just want to take still photos. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Okay. Let's hook it up. Hold on, buddy. I don't think he's got enough energy to get back away from you. She's probably wondering what the heck, because she don't know. She thought you was right under a bridge. I oh, did too. Yeah. So she didn't know. She didn't get, she went and parked, and she's probably wondering where. <laughs> that, that spot right under the bridge is really good for moon eyes and walleye and catfish. I remember Mason caught a sauger right there. Yeah, yeah. I haven't heard from Mason forever, dude. He, he moved to Cape, and he deleted his Facebook because his girlfriend screwed uh, him over. That sounds about right. And yeah, uh, as far as I know, he's hanging out with a bunch of college students and he still fishes the Diversion Channel once in a while. Nice. Gina said he's doing good. Yeah, I'm going to have to come try. Yeah, I've noticed when I fish with worms here, it's sunfish and moon eyes is the main, and little smallmouth that are eight inches and under. We caught six hog suckers here the other day. My goodness. We weren't even here an hour. Can you get it to stay over there without the current pushing it out? Yeah, I just drift out, but this trough over here is deep enough that it holds some pretty good fish. Yeah. It looks damn good if I could. I could get one or two with a crankbait running it through there too. Yeah, a lot of times those throw a slipper out there and just drift it over and over again until I get something. I went right by it and never noticed it was looking that good before. 
But that float, see the problem is, if you do that deer leap to here, it's too short in my opinion. It's like too fast yeah, and there's got, only like two good holes. I got private access up the river about two miles from here too. Yeah. Okay, it went away, so I gotta go back to camera. Okay. Okay, you want them sideways, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> I don't wanna hurt you. I wanna he, at least these two wore out to jet off on you. Yeah. That's the one hurt you. Bro, chill. Yeah, I'm Oops, I took one on accident, I think. Ain't no big deal. I got a shit ton of room in there. Uh, I gotta back up just a little bit. There we go. Alright, do one where you're looking at me. Yep. There we go. Oh, yeah. I'll do. Curving that tail. Damn it. They do that bad. Yep. There was that one day I tried to hold it, oh, and yeah. I could not hold them. For, they're strong. Hell yeah, they are. Okay. Man. Okay, we got, got four. Got fish in there? Oh yeah. oh yeah, we got five good ones, six. Right. <laughs> Get a mug shot. <laughs> and uh, he might be bigger than I thought. Yeah, yeah he's uh, he's 14 or 15. Yeah, bro. okay. Yeah, let's get a snout shot. Mm -hmm. Oh man, look at him when he extends it. Oh, if I could get him to. There, I think I got one where it's extended. Yeah, yeah. It's him trying to breathe. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Thanks yeah. For coming down. yeah, it's no problem. I wasn't doing nothing. It sucks because I got the I got the van back now and I can actually go fish. But the problem is it's sketchy for her to take the she can take the Durango to work, but the problem is the fuel pump shuts off just once every three or four days it'll stop. Okay. But it'll start right back Where's up. She at? at Vitronics too. Right but she got to go back a couple months ago. I'm still laid off. It ain't looking good. It's nice when it gives you fishing time, though. Yeah. Oh. But I, from what I'm hearing, the unemployment's going to run out. Even though Trump did that executive order. Caught a little white crappie. Yeah, white crappie. Hey, it's a fish, though. All right. Hey. There you go, bro. Yeah. <laughs> At least it's something. It ain't like that one I caught in the spring. That was a big. <laughs> He's about 10 feet in front of me. Right here. Close, man. Fuck. He hit his head on it. I was that close. Rapid. We have not caught squat. I had a big spotter bass on for one second. Man. Did better than me again. Yeah. Huh. Not bad. <laughs> Where at? Above the bridge? Yeah. She caught him on a chrome clown 
I don't know what kind of crankbait that is. Not too bad, about 12 inches. Waited four hours for this 10 inch blue cat. Besides Wilma's white bass and this, that has been it. We picked the wrong rock dike today. Where we think this is really shallow, it just seems like it. It's just the wrong type of rock dike. It's not tall enough. So we don't have a lot of water coming around it. Little baby blue cat. You solved the mystery of what was stealing your shit. Yep. So you do need little hooks. You probably catch way more. Get half a sandwich out of that. Just a little one, need a little size one hook. Oh boy. Looks kind of big there. <laughs> 30 pounds. Oh, it's straining. Oh, God. Had to find them after. But. There I did, I set the hook now, with the back. The white bass? What? All right, guys, we, me and him have had seven poles in the water for over two hours. Wilma finally put her own pole in, down from us, and she caught a white bass on a worm. My gosh. That's crazy, man. Now I wish I had some crappie jigs with me. You got yeah, you never know, man. Told you. Can you pick it up? Yeah. I had some. Oh, I don't know if I can get that. I hope so. It's way down in there. No. Do you want a piece? Huh? Do you want a piece? All right, guys, we'll move the first fish of the day out here in the Mississippi. <laughs> All right, just hold it like that for a little bit. I'll be able to get a good picture later. She caught him on just a worm, probably moving it around, or was it just setting? Just setting? The hell have we got all these poles out and not getting a thing then? That's nuts! Oh, this water's cool again. Hold on. This water's actually feeling really good again. It's not hot. Get down. Get over. There we go. Man, you love. There we go. All right, I got a crappie, guys. Finally, it took me a while. Everyone in here is nice, though. I never, rarely get small crappie out of here. Looks like it's a white, about nine inches. All right. Not bad. I got him on the four pound line. It took me a long time. It took me a half an hour to get one fish. But it was worth it. And it's easy to spook him here. After I, now, after I get him, it'll probably be hard to get another one in that same spot. Not a bad little white. He's just a plain old white crappie. Still got this little hole below me and I got down there at the bridge if I really want to make sure I get him. He's not the one I'm after, but he's not bad. I'll take him like that all day long. Nice little white. Alright, let's see if I can get another one. There we go. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, nice large mouth, guys. I got a five inch black crappie so far. Now this this is a real large mouth. About a pound. Oh yeah, real large mouth too. Not bad. There we go, guys. On the bandit. Chartreuse back, white bone body. Not bad little guy. They are biting. This ain't a, I don't think this is a crappie. If it is, it's a giant. I got something big. Whoa. If this is a crappie, it might be a big bluegill. I think it is. No, it's a bass. Hey, it wasn't a total loss coming. What, this, for some reason, bass love this blue ga bluegrass Bobby Garland, guys. I've caught like six bass since I've started using this bluegrass color. I don't know what it is about it. You notice that? At Palmer, remember I caught two. And the first time I used it here, I caught bass. Nice. Here, don't the, let me take the camera. I thought I had a really big crappie for a minute, and then I started thinking I had a bluegill. <laughs> well, guys, just because there's 20 mile an hour winds doesn't mean the fish are not gonna bite. Not a bad bass for a crappie jig. deal with bass and these bluegrass bass love grass I guess this is the lure right here oh my god the problem is I'm using four pound line with it it's gonna if I get a big one I'm screwed yeah You gotta be kidding me, man. Whoa. That's why I was missing them. Guys, I just caught a shadow bass on a big four inch shiner. He ain't much, he's half that fish's size. That's a nice one though. Hooked him in the bottom lip. You're on one? 
That's a nice one though, man. Look how pretty he is. That is awesome. <laughs> oh goodness. Hey, it's a fish, I'm happy. Now I know why I kept missing them. That may have been the fish I had earlier. My gosh. I have not caught one that looks that dark in a long time. It's because of that clear winter water. Pretty cool, guys. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Something at least, right? And my minnow's still alive. I think it's some kind of hawk. Yeah, looks like a red tail hawk. Some kind of hawk. First fish on a Bobby Garland. Little bitty largemouth. Right. On the bluegrass Bobby Garland. They love this thing for some reason. I don't know why. It's a real largemouth, not a spot. Right where a creek comes in. It's nice and calm, about 10 foot deep. Looks like I'm gonna need pliers for him. Not too bad. It is a fish. Alright. A little large mouth. About a pound. Guys, fish on on the blue ice bobby garland again. I mean the bluegrass, and it's another largemouth. They love these things. I don't know why, but they love it. I've caught more bass on this thing than crappie. It's strange. There's something they're drawn to about this color. It's always on accident. Yep, it's a real largemouth. I spotted. Not bad. Another largemouth. Is working. Alright, guys, got my third largemouth once again on the Bobby Garland. Cannot catch, catch a crappie to save my life. That's three bass, all about the same, all right at 11 inches, all largemouth. That's fish number three. Got him on a minnow Bobby Garland. 